So we just got this huge package from Adidas celebrating the Keith Haring collection. Let's take a closer look. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at this special promo box celebrating the Keith Haring Adidas Originals collection. Uh, before we show you what's inside, just do us a quick favor, hit the subscribe button and we'll get right into it. So as you guys know, on June 30th, Adidas Originals closed out Pride Month with a special collaboration with the Keith Haring Foundation. Keith Haring, of course, is not only a legendary artist um, known for this type of illustrations pretty much, but he's been an advocate of gay rights until his uh, untimely death. But again, Keith Haring is not only a, a legend in art, but he's also a legend in that community. And this was a collaboration that not only celebrated Pride Month, but it also coincided with the opening of Beyond the Streets, which is a graffiti street art showcase going on in Brooklyn, New York, that ends in August 2019. Of course, you can get tickets in the links below. It's a dope collection, three pairs released. Again, there's all his signature artwork that he was basically known for. It's one of the most recognizable bits of street art you can find. There's three shoes as part of the collection, and we'll show it to you right now. So like we said, on June 30th, there were three shoes that dropped, the Rivalry High, the Nitsa High, and of course, the Stan Smith, and each pair features its own tribute to Keith Haring. His signature artwork is featured on each of the three shoes, but again, the inside of this box is pretty amazing, as you can see. We're gonna take the shoes out, we're gonna show you a closer look at each of the three, and we'll let you know what we think. We'll start off with the most uh, recognizable shoe. It is a Stan Smith, a classic tennis shoe that really needs no introduction, so we're just gonna go right into it. Adorned with some orange hits on the heel, as well as the tongue. And as you can see, there's the Keith Herring illustration on the tongue in place of the classic Stan Smith portrait. And here in the toe boxes is his artwork that's embroidered on. So it's not like painted or overlaid on, it's actually like embroidered on. So it's really nice quality. The uppers of the shoes are also like um, a very soft leather. So it's not that cheap synthetic stuff. You can even tell on the insoles, there's the special artwork that you saw inside the box. All three pairs have those special insoles. And you got that nice orange Stan Smith in the back. Again, Stan Smiths are such a timeless shoe. It goes with everything. And it's one of our favorite shoes to drop during Pride Month. Again, you can't really go wrong with the special edition tongue, the embroidery at the toe box, and the high quality. We'll move on to the next one. This is the Rivalry High. It's a shoe that actually recently came out. Adidas dropped the OG Patrick Ewing Knicks colorway. So this takes that OG and it applies his artwork all over the upper. And again, like we mentioned before, it's all embroidered on. So the quality on these are really, really insane. But they kept some OG details like the nylon tongue. Medial side, the, the blue and orange just pops on the, the Rivalry High. Again, it's. This is one of the most you know, iconic high tops of all time. And the fact that there's a New York City connection between Herring and the Knicks and all that. So it's a dope story that just kind of came together in the right way. And this particular pair has that yellow graphic that's inside the tongue, part of the inner construction as well as the outsole. So definitely an interesting take on the Rivalry High. We'll move on to now the Nitsa High. So the Nitsa is another classic shoe from the Adidas archives. It's a shoe that recently came out again. You see a lot in skate versions, but this is a classic leather high top. Again, has the signature artwork on the upper and the, the rest of the shoe is kept pretty clean. So it's more like the Stan Smith where it just relies on the silhouette. And they have one key visual to kind of champion the release. This one has fully lined with that same artwork in the yellow and blue. And the material itself is like this soft sort of like nylon sort of finish. So it's a definitely, you know, soft against the skin. So really comfortable to wear. The also has that bright orange. So again, as you can tell, there's a theme between all three of these, you know, blue and orange. It's a nod to New York City. It's a nod to Keith Haring's uh, heritage and his legacy as one of the greatest, you know, street artists of all time. This particular version, it's pretty cool because it, totally wraps around the, the heel. So the entire Keith Haring Adidas Originals pack was definitely one of the more interesting of Pride Month. Definitely a dope collaboration that deserves more attention in our opinion. And again, if you're in New York City, you can the artwork at Beyond the Streets. Keith Haring has a small exhibit there, so take a look at that. And if you're interested in copying any of these three, we do have some store links below. They might restock, so you might want to get on them before they sell out. So that's pretty much it. This is a dope package by Adidas Originals. Thank you so much for sending these over to us. Let us know in the comments which of the threes you like best. We really like the Stan Smith, but you know, the other two aren't too shabby. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.